hi guys good morning uh, today i have a new video for you again and this video deals with a new cargo work numerical uh, this is example five in a cargo work numerical uh, today i will uh, present a new question for you to solve um, today's question is uh, that uh, there is a vessel of 5080 tons of dead weight uh, which has on board 500 tons of fuel oil 350 tons of water and 130 tons of stores she has four holes four number of holes of capacities as follows number one hold is 1320 meter cube number two hold is 1972 metric cube number three hold is 2050 metric cube number four hold is 1530 metric cube uh, you are required to load grain cargo stowing at 1.45 metric cube per ton so that's the storage factor and then bales of cotton stowing at 2.35 metric cube per ton all right uh, you have to calculate two things first you have to calculate how much of each commodity when i say each commodity that means how much of grain and how much bales of cotton can you load if the vessel is down to her marks and full to capacity all right that means maximum load line and full to capacity and second thing is how should the cargo be distributed so in this question make sure that you take a note of that the vessel's dead weight is 5080 tons so you must know the meaning of dead weight and it already has on board 500 tons of fuel oil 350 tons of water and 130 tons of stores so think about how what you already have on board will impact the dead weight then she has four holes you are given the volume of each hold and how i know its volume because the unit is metric cube so each hold has the uh, volume of each hold is given to you and you have to pretty much load the cargo in these four cargo holes but before you do that uh, you are required to first find out how much of each commodity can you load if the vessel is down to her marks and full to capacity and secondly you have to find out how should the cargo be distributed in each of the four cargo holes so i can give you the answer to the first part of course the first part of the answer is 3070 tons of grain can be loaded and 1030 tons of cotton that's the answer to the first part and the answer to the second part i will also discuss in the next video so in my next video i'll show you how to work out this question and how to get both answer to both the parts uh, i'm just giving you the answer to the first part so that you get some idea of whether you're going right or wrong uh, it's important that you try these questions on your own first before you watch my solution and that's why i discuss the solution in a separate video i know some of you may be getting very annoyed and saying that why do you just give us the question and not the solution the reason is because i want you guys to have an honest attempt at trying to solve this question i'll give you a couple of days and then i'll put up my solution and i'll show you how to work out this question and uh, but have a go at it because this will help you to get your thinking process sort sorted as well all right so i've given you the answer to the first part to give you some hint and the answer to the second part or even how to solve both the parts will be discussed will be shown to all of you in the next video so all the best with solving this question and i look forward to uh, reading your answers in the comment section so if you solve uh, both the answers or if you get both the answer or even if you don't get the answer write down in the comment section on how you went about it and what is the point that was confusing you so i can address it in my next video thanks for watching guys bye